one n 76 here, and welcome back to part two of my survival challenge series. I am continuing on with Fathomire version 3.0, part of Vex Super Hostile series. And I came back out here to the water during the night, and where did the sun go? Oh, right there. And uh, I gathered all the wood that was above water. I tried to get some of this underneath, but it's a pain in the butt, so I'm going to have to come back probably in the next part or two to get some more of the wood um i think i will bring some sand with me or something to try to figure out how i can push the water out and actually um, collect the wood underneath the like a dirt cap or something so anyways i said in part one that i was going to explore the island once the daylight got here and it's here now so you a little bit more of what I did too. I also made a stove and I crafted that one block of wood that I had into charcoal and made four torches. So let's put some. S what was that? Weird. Um, stuff away here. I got. Oh, I got some enough for another glowstone. I keep trying to say glowstone lantern, but it's just plain old glowstone. I'm also going to plant this guy too. Uh, anything else to plant? Nope, nothing else to plant. Got one golden apple left. I ate one last time so I could get some health back. Uh, the wood. Yes, wood, that's right. Okay, we're gonna put the extra stuff away that I don't need on me. Um, I will take half of these. So I can make a beacon. If you will. And a piece of dirt. I should probably... Uh, look at that soon. I got some water over here in the ocean that I can use for farming, but I get this guy planted. Eventually I'd like to make a map. Since I have two compasses, I can do that. And I guess I need to find out where this compass points to as well. So maybe we'll kind of go along that direction here while I explore and see if I can find some... Hey, that's clay. Looks like, yeah, it looks like clay. Hey, there's some animals on this map. Oh, that's cool. Uh oh, I hear somebody bobbing. I like some zombies. Oh yeah, I heard some water right here. Okay, so I have some more water. Somewhere here, there's some. Oh, like there's some sand in here. Uh, another, another little sand hole. Yep. Okay. Anyways, oh, there's some more cobblestone. Okay, good. That's good. Probably need some more of that a little later here. Oh, before I get too much farther ahead, now I gotta build a beacon here. Oh, this is my new uh, method of building a beacon too, by the way. It's gonna be kinda... I think it's different. I don't know for sure just yet, but... Uh... Oh, crap, I can't get up there now. <laughs> Normally I'd put them on all the sides too, but I only have four torches, so I don't want to waste them all just yet, so. And we'll take the dirt underneath. So now I have a floating beacon of cobblestone. Makes it easy to, to eh, not miss it. So I'm going to head over to this island. Oh, eh, island. <laughs> I'm on an island or something. Maybe it's an island. I don't know. I don't know how big it is. It, like you said, continental style, so maybe it's not. An island might be too small some flowers. I guess I can get some seeds while we're uh, walking along here. The top of this hill. That's the word I was looking for. Wow. Oh, hey, a tree. Excellent. Oh, I didn't bring my... Eh, I'll just punch it down. Oh, there might be more than one. Okay, let's see. I can barely see that one, so we better put some more down. Alright. Find my way back. What time is it? Looks like it's noon already. Oh yeah, looks like there's a whole forest over there. And ooh, there's some more sugar cane. Let's go grab that. At least the nice thing about this being an open world or continental style, I guess is what you call it, that I can actually do something in the daylight. <laughs> so in most of those other maps that I played, you're mostly underground or underneath 
some kind of structure or something and you're always fighting mobs every step of the way. Um, I'm gonna take them all but one with me. I have to hurry up and make a map so I can figure out. Ooh, crap. Okay, over there. And that way is something. I don't know what you're supposed to find, but. Ooh, hey, more cobblestone. Awesome. Wow, a lot of cobblestone. Oh, coal. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't bring. Crap. Okay. Let's go get a tree. Hoping to try to find a monument in this episode, but that might actually be a while. I don't know where it's at, so. I'm gonna go get some wood here. Ooh, there's a nice big juicy one right here. Wish I had an axe. So I need three pieces to start with. Alright. Meh, uh, <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, there's, there's some bedding right behind me. <laughs> Bench making. Woo! And we'll just turn these into that. And like this. And like this for a wooden axe. And fix that. Oh, I'm leave that there so I can grab these. I'm not going to chop down the entire tree, but it looks like now at least I have a forest, or at least a small enough one to start off with. Boy, this is going to be quite different. I'm so not used to having plenty of wood. And yeah, this is a second part or second episode, how you want to call it. Usually I spend an hour or two before I even find any trees or renewable resources, it seems like, in Vex maps anyways. I was going to say, I'm waiting for a sapling to fall too, but I don't really need one, do I? Nope. Not in this map. At least not thus far. I will probably do some responsible replanting, just so... In case this isn't a very big forest. I uh, should, should lift it down. I could have made a pickaxe while I was here. Oh, wait, you know what? Yes, I do have enough. Excellent. I'll make a stone pickaxe right now. I was thinking I was going to have to make it out of wood and then turn around and make a stone one, but nope, don't need to do that. Need to get some iron and I can come back and cheer you guys. A couple of cows. I need to get some... Oh, crap. Where's that guy right there, right? Okay, compass is pointing behind me. Oh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I got one more left. Okay, it'll work. There, and there, and here, and here, and here, like this, and this, and that. <laughs> Alright, got my, my beacon built. What the heck? Is it really that far away from the last one? Crap. Now, where did I see that right there? Man, that's almost too far away. I don't know if I'll be able to see it at night. So we're gonna come over here and get some charcoal. Wow, there's like a fair few pieces here. Uh, so coal is one of those items that just seems like no matter what tool you're using, it takes forever to punch through it. Like even with a diamond pickaxe, I've noticed that it might be a little bit faster, but it's not noticeable. Like, like I can punch through. St Stone faster than I can coal with any pickaxe for that matter. It doesn't matter that it's stone or wood or iron or even diamond. Man, it's the heck? Oh crap. Uh, okay, I guess I better just head back because I don't know what it's gonna be like near nighttime. I don't know if he's got like a trillion mob spawners around here or what. So I'm gonna run back. Sure, there's some more chickens around here so I can get some get some food. I don't think I've seen any of them yet. There's some sand over there. Hey, a black sheep. Cool. Hey, a pig. And some more sheep. <laughs> I wonder if I should remove my house over there. Eh. We'll leave it where it is right now. I don't 
that all clay or that stone? That looks like gravel. Oh yeah, this texture's changed in the next and the most recent snapshot. Oh, and there's a zombie and skeleton. Oh god. I have any armor on, so I gotta be careful. Well, I shouldn't say any armor. I've got diamond boots on. Okay, there's some food. <laughs> yeah, that's spider. Man, I can't believe it. My hands are so cold right now. And last week when I was recording Spot on Caves, which I think I'm going to end up having to reshoot part of it because I'm on the third? No, fifth episode. And I had the third one uploaded and I'd done the fourth one uploaded, but I, I kind of noticed that I got frustrated and I swore a fair bit. And I don't know if I quite like that, so I'm probably going to have to... I may just start over and wipe those videos and repost them. And wow, there's like a bunch of guys around here. Uh oh, it's time. Oh jeez. Wow, I'm super hungry. All right, I gotta, get, I gotta get inside. Oh crap, I'm hungry enough that I can't run. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Chicken. Oh boy. Spider and a skeleton behind me. Okay. We are inside. I let's put this stuff away before I die or something like that. Hey, even brought us happening would be cool. I can mean, plant trees right here. Okay, there's some cooked chicken right there. We'll eat that. Uh, didn't do enough. Darn it. Oh, come on, oh, come on, stop it. <laughs> okay, we'll food it up. Uh, I'm put this away. And but yeah, anyways, it was like 80, 90 degrees last week here in Michigan, and this week it's back down to the 50s and 60s. It's like, brr. Actually, I think it even got down to the 40s last night. So that was definitely cold. Let's keep two of these, and I'll take two of these. Get rid of those. Since it's dark out now. I... Excellent. Uh, let's make some more torches. I don't remember how to. That's <laughs> what so it seems like. It's like, oh, I don't know how to do that. All right, we got my temporary shelter. Bracket here. Hmm. Not sure what I was trying to do. I wanted to find a forest. I found a forest, so uh, I think I'll actually go ahead and end the video here. And tomorrow, on the daylight gets here, we're gonna try to follow that compass some more and see if we can find some more stuff. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for part three, and good night.